Okay, lawyers for Karen Reed want phone records from people they claim are involved in a conspiracy to frame her. She's accused of running down her Boston police officer boyfriend, John O'Keefe, in Canton. This afternoon, the defense argued for those records in court. Investigative reporter Ted Daniel was at the hearing and joins us live. Ted? Yeah, as we've been reporting, guys, federal authorities conducted their own investigation of this case, and a few weeks ago, they turned over the findings, or at least some of the findings from their investigation that spanned at least six months. Right. Reed's lawyers say those findings contain information about calls between people that they claim the state failed to investigate. Karen, how do you feel think today went? Great, great. Thanks, Ted. Karen Reed, after a hearing where her lawyers went after phone records from four people, including retired Boston police officer Brian Albert and ATF agent Brian Higgins. John O'Keefe's body was found outside Albert's former Canton home. He had hosted a gathering that O'Keefe was invited to and that Higgins attended. Defense attorney David Unetti says both were questioned in the federal probe about calls they exchanged three and a half hours before O'Keefe's body was discovered. When he was first confronted, Brian Higgins first tried to claim that it had to have been a butt dial. Um, that term butt dial is used by many of the Commonwealth's witnesses to explain the many calls between them and among them. Assistant District Attorney Adam Lally argued the defense is misinterpreting the federal findings. He says the phone records are not relevant. The facts as recited in, in the defendant's motion uh, the Commonwealth would submit are, are largely uh, inaccurate. Um, it's can, injected with hyperbole, injected with conjecture. Brian Albert's attorney says Albert does not object to turning over his phone records and he announced this that I have permission to notify the court that Brian Albert, his wife Nicole, his son Brian Jr., and Caitlin are not targets of the federal investigation. A lawyer for Brian Higgins says the feds told him the same thing about not being a target of their probe. Higgins' attorney did not address this statement from Yanetti. Brian Higgins testified to the federal grand jury that he stopped taking Brian Albert's calls. He stopped replying to Brian Albert's text messages. Judge Beverly Canoni must now decide if the defense will get access to those phone records. The defense is also expected to file their third motion to dismiss the case in the coming days. A hearing on that is scheduled for Tuesday. All right, here we go again, Ted. Thank you so much. 25 Investigates has been uncovering new details in the Karen Reed murder case for months. You can see all of Ted's reporting on our website, boston25news.com. Just click 25 Investigates.